please accept the recording. Okay, so um, it's 604, we're gonna commence this meeting for the environmental committee. It is recording, so um, please be aware what you're saying. It's gonna be on the website, could be on YouTube. It is public information, so just so you guys know. So, um, you know, preliminary items, we're gonna welcome Jack. Thank you so much. So introduce yourself to us. Yeah, hello, my name is Jack Fernandez. I was born and raised in uh, the Peninsula area in Point Loma, actually. My father fled civil war in Angola in 1976 and he started our lineage here. So I'm really oh. the first born of this new uh, family that I hope you know has a great time in America. So it's great wow. to be here and environment is very important to me. I think it's uh, wonderful to connect with you all. We clearly care about our community. Mandy as well, who cannot be here. I just uh, went to a Rotary Club lunch with her on Friday of last week in Point Emma. <laughs> so that was great. And really looking forward to helping with some initiatives together. And I know we already have a few things in mind. So well, thank, thank you. you for Welcome, Jack. Thank yeah, you. We're excited for you to be on our committee. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. So the next um, thing is we need to um, make motion for the meeting minutes from last September, 2022. So I will um, motion. A second. Perfect, so they're approved. Um, Jack, later you can actually start approving stuff, but today you can't because you haven't been in the past minutes, you know, okay. in the meeting, but in the future you can, okay? Okay. Do you guys have any, anything else to add to our meeting today? Non-agenda public comments? Anybody? <clears throat> Jack? No, I, I don't have anything okay. at the moment. I was kind of hoping, because our main thing was to um, introduce our high school liaisons, and we only had one applicant. His name is um, Mateo Mori or Mora. And I was hoping he was going to join because he was going to give his speech today. So, um, with that being said, I guess. I don't really know what else about him, but didn't everybody review his application? It was great. Do you want to read it out loud, Tina, so that way everybody can hear? I don't have it up right now. Do you want to read it? I'm, I'm trying to find it myself. Is it on, I'm looking on the email chain and I have the poster announcement but I don't seem to have the application here. I have yeah, the he has the board. application. Um, he, um, it's on the email uh, from. <clears throat> I'll be happy to read it once uh, I find Same. it. Same. Um, as soon as I find it too. See who finds it first. It's countdown. Hmm. So while she's looking that up, um, anybody have any other concerns that we need to do for, you know, regarding environmental issues? <clears throat> Jack, you're joining today for the first time. Do you have any concerns or anything you want us to bring to attention? Uh, no, not particularly. I think um, just I'll, I'll raise this as kind of a broad piece of public interest that I know you're all intimately aware of, I'm sure, which is the uh, Tijuana Wastewater Treatment Facility that unfortunately over time, I uh, believe has dilap become dilapidated and was leaking okay. uh, raw sewage into our beaches here in San Diego. And there's a chance of course that that gets into Ocean Beach and uh, the surrounding areas. Mm -hmm. But that's just been something that's kind of come up lately as a piece of broader kind of peninsula yeah. community. So we could probably have that as something we could talk about, you know, definitely. <clears throat> <clears throat> So I certainly. found it. Did you want yeah. me to read it? I found it too. So go ahead. Oh, great. It. Okay. It says, my name is Mateo Mori and I go to High Tech High, a project-based school that you are probably familiar with. I also live in Point Loma near Kellogg Beach. I'm interested in joining the PCPB because I believe that I can bring a different point of view to the conversation. I love surfing around Ocean Beach and going to the bay near my school and around Kellogg Beach. So I genuinely appreciate and care about the outdoors around my home. If any meetings are about this, be sure that I will participate. 
I also bring a teamwork and leadership point of view as a water polo and swim team captain. So I will most likely be able to adopt to adapt to your current group of members. I hope to learn about our peninsula's ecosystems and learn what to do when fixing an environmental problem in a given area. With that, I hope to see what it's like advising the city of San Diego about issues in our communities. I think speaking my opinion about the area I live in is something that I don't do very often. I have opinions in my mind, but sometimes I push them away to not bother other people. But in this case, my opinion could be shared by lots of residents in the Peninsula community. This experience will hopefully teach me the most efficient way of communicating an idea or opinion so that I'm ready to do this in college. Special interests, what other organizations or clubs, if any, do I participate in high tech high athletics water polo swim and dive captain in both french class two hours a week two one hour classes key club community service junior youth by high animator um, empowering youth 12 to 13 years old to become better persons at heart following the virtues of life and consulting in a group all together. A nano select biomedical internship, perform low flow cytometry using microfluidics and learned how widely applicable this form of science is to real world challenges, no matter how minuscule some of the materials are. This helped me expand my knowledge in bioengineering and narrow down my interest in college majors. Thank you wow. for considering my application. What a terrific nice. young man. I know. Yeah. I just emailed him right now while Angela is speaking. I emailed him to see if he was willing or available to join, but obviously I just did it right now. So not sure. Well, he could be in a he could be in a swimming pool or something. <laughs> Or one of his other or working working projects. on his fluid dynamics or something. Exactly. <laughs> Project. Building something. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, I, I if he doesn't come on, I certainly would make a motion to accept him as a participant. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. Javier is the first. And Angela, you're second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. And then, so right now, um, the only thing that we have on the agenda, it's going to be really <clears throat> meeting, is that um, Jack just mentioned about like what we can do for regarding the raw sewage coming from TJ, Tijuana. And, um, but other than that, anything else? No, I, uh, I know you guys sent me the, you guys had a, a, a flyer for the rankings of stuff. I need to, I'll yeah. need to return that. I'll return it in the next couple of days. When Javier last meeting and Tina as well, we had this like uh, an Excel spreadsheet that had the list of priorities Mandy had been inputting. Yes, that's it. That's the Angela, oh, okay. did you get a copy of that? I did not. That I didn't I recall. either. Maybe I did. You may have, Tina, been on the email chain. We'll have to track it down. But one of the initiatives that I was really interested in, and this is something that I'd love to put into motion because I have a feeling it's one of those things where it may sound deceptively simple on its face, but inevitably navigating the red tape of City Hall might pose a difficulty here, it has to do with uh, creating an initiative for our community members to be able to, for a small fee, perhaps $250, put a commemorative plaque on a park bench or adopt a tree with a commemorative, uh, some kind of a what basically a min, uh, miniature monument to someone who has been deceased, like a loved one or even a group, you know, of a group of people. Like I know the Portuguese community oftentimes will dedicate things to the fishermen who have been lost at sea. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like a wonderful thing for a member. Um, I would even be interested myself, you know, for instance, for um, like for all of those in our community who have lost their lives as a service member. I would buy a plaque on a park bench just to honor all of those people. And then uh, maybe mothers and fathers and family members could visit that. And yeah. it becomes kind of like a self-sustaining project because mm -hmm. it doesn't cost a lot. 
to clean a park bench, you know? So I know adding trees, I've been speaking to my friends who are city in city planning, uh, it can be quite a difficult endeavor, uh, but nonetheless, I know Mandy's had success, I think in the past, but I just wanted to raise that as kind of one of the, the tasks that stood out to me personally, the monument okay. uh, commemorative plaques. <clears throat> That's a really good idea. I wonder if, um, I, I, you know, the native plant garden? Yes. Have you been to that, Jennifer? <laughs> I have, yes. I actually, the, I think the, the scouts were doing something. I yeah. saw a flyer recently. I went to a scouts honoring Jerry Sanders on the Midway. And uh, I think they mentioned that they were building a bridge there or something. I wonder if they have, I know they have benches. I don't know if any of those are dedicated to anybody, you know, where they could put um, plaques. Plaque on it. Yeah, yeah. No. Interesting. Yeah, because you'd think it might be kind of like a small, but, I, and I think that's very, I mean, it's very, uh, clearly it's like a bipartisan thing. So everybody would, I think, love a chance to honor someone. Mm -hmm. So it might be, uh, Especially even with right now, like um, veteran days coming up, might be a good time that we can even enhance that. Like somebody with wants what? veterans days coming up. Oh, yeah. veterans day. Yeah. That would be super cool as kind a of deadline. Kind of, you know, bring that up, bring, bring that to fruition, you know. Numerically, I did hear $250 being kind of a set point that is actually realistic as a, a nominal fee that could be paid to kind of claim claim a bench or or an area with a plaque yeah and Mandy, i think got that quoted or something um so okay so is the 250 just the plaque or uh, actually having the bench built i don't believe it would be a new bench but i think okay. if there were an existing bench to essentially claim it and plaque put a plaque on it and i was told that that includes upkeep i don't know for how long so I'm not sure if there's like a periodic uh, kind of fee that needs to be paid, but- So we can look at what I'm talking about too, like where she said there's, we can look at where Angela is saying there's some benches. Yeah, yeah, the garden, yeah, exactly. And the idea is that the fee not only honors the loved one for the family, but it actually goes toward the upkeep for the bench itself or for the tree itself, which I think is a really unique idea because then it kind of takes the burden off of uh, taxpayers on gross and it kind of spreads it out. And it's like an individual is adopting that, that mm -hmm. uh, designated piece. And so it sounds small, I know, of course, but to me, small is manageable. Uh, and it also, I think is something that if it were to spread a little bit, if we could actually figure out how to do it and, and navigate through the kind of re regulatory steps, it could grow. And then eventually, you know, you have, it adds up, you have quite a few and it's a new source of revenue perhaps for, I don't know exactly where it would go entirely, but <laughs> we could figure that out. <laughs> Sounds like a good project for uh, you to investigate. Yeah, I am. I'm on it. I'm going to investigate it. And I, I'm putting my uh, flag in the ground here as this will be like my, my pet project. And uh, <laughs> then I'll try to, <laughs> Try to figure it out. <laughs> My legacy on the on the planning board. Yeah. Begins. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, Javier, do you have any comments about that or anything? Any no, insight? I'm uh, I'm gonna just tag on to Jack's coattail and help as much as I can. <laughs> I will it's, it's honor a, it's you. It's a really nice someday. idea. Yeah. I um, I was up for a little vacation. <laughs> at uh, Capitola. Have you guys ever been there? It's south of no. Santa Cruz. No, no. Well, there's a, a fence that is high up on the bluff at the end of where a bunch of houses are. And it's this fence that runs, I don't know, probably at least a half a mile. And it overlooks the ocean. It's beautiful. And all along the fence has these plaques that are dedicated to somebody and it just lines and it's just so nice. Wow. So 
I don't know I, if I took any photos, but if I have one, I will definitely show you. But it was really, really nice. That's really nice. Then, yeah. you know, it just to me, I was when I was thinking about it, I said, you know, I'm I'm blessed that I feel very lucky. Both of my parents are still with me. My sister's with me. We have a pretty small family. Uh, but if, you know, God forbid, if something were to happen to them, I would love to, or even to me, I'll say for, I'll use myself as the example. <laughs> it could be a nice uh, idea just to, you know, have it somewhere scenic where, or even like a special part of the city that, or I mean, of the community that just makes you remember that person. Yeah. You can just kind of be there in nature, or, you know, in an area and just honor them. And we have a really, you know, we have quite a few spots that would be nice if the city would agree to that. I And I know it's been done before uh, in some capacities, at least, but yeah, we'll try to make this uh, a straightforward process for the community. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like getting the average person, just uh, giving them accessibility into that. I think that would be the challenge, but it's a worthy challenge for me. So uh, at the very least, I'm going to start looking into it and um, tag Mandy as well. And I'll report back as soon as I can. Good idea. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, thank, thank you. Jack. Well, um, this is the shortest meeting ever I think we've ever had. <laughs> I'm like, I don't feel bad. It's only been 20 minutes. Well, we set something into motion. I that's just right. said, hey, here's the project. I'm going to go research it. So that's Love the it. journey of a thousand miles. And we've got an uh, intern to present to the board, to the full board. So. Yeah. Ah. So I'm not sure if we're still going to open it up. I have to check with Mandy if we're going to open it up for the waiting for the other ones that she reached out to. Or, I mean, obviously, Mateo should he's first in and he was well we've already voted him in so yeah so i don't know if we're going to open it up for a second person or do another revote you know what did mandy i think mandy said two max right and that yes. if there was a third it would be a coin flip right two yeah max. okay so then the first first come first serve basically yes. so we have our first and then if someone else comes in i guess they would pretty much get that slot and otherwise we would do a coin flip i think she's right yeah i think that's agreeable like i think now since it's past the deadline whoever comes in uh, now and wants that spot i don't know do you all agree like kind of some subcommittee wise do we agree that the next person that comes in assuming their application is worthy you know I'm, just, I'd just be happy that a young person her. wants to volunteer. <laughs> Me yeah. too. You know, I'm, I mean, and I'm rel relatively speaking, I hope I'm still considered young, but. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you. Are. <laughs> okay. Phew. You're not going to be saying that for very long. So I got to get that out of the way, but I think it's a brilliant opportunity. And I'm wondering the one thing I wanted to ask, and I should have asked Mandy when I last saw her is how we're getting this out. I mean, are we, because I know we have a way of circulating it, but is this just a direct blast to the high schools in the, in the area? Yes. Like so, yes. So she reached out to the local high schools in the area, um, to their directors, to the, um, the government um, um, studies, print, you know, like the teachers, the professors in those areas. So even to our last candidate, she reached out to them which were, they were both came from Point Loma High School, but she's, yes. So to answer your question in a direct way, yes, she reached out with them via email. Okay. And then also the principals passed that on to like the um, humanities program, the government programs and um, the environmental studies, things like that. So the word got out. Remind me, do we know what was the, the age restriction for this position? Was there a recommended age minimum? I thought it was 10th through 12th. Or is yeah. it so we're talking like 15 years old, basically. 15 to 18-ish. I don't even know. I mean, okay. it seems to be 20. So um, High school. High school. <laughs> because I'm on the board, uh, thanks to Robert Tripp Jackson, actually, uh, of the Cabrillo National Monument Foundation. And so we have a program there where young women can, or young female identifying students, rather, can come in and participate in this ecological education program where they get okay. exposed to horticulture and they go do the 
you know, tide pools and things. And so I'm under the impression that there is a group of, of young female identifying students who are in that age range. So I'm thinking I can actually send this out just for a last push okay, uh, yeah. to see if, if there might be, sure. you know, a young woman perhaps that's interested in it. Um, so I'll, if I, if it's okay, if everyone thinks that's okay, I can sure. send it to a, uh, the development coordinator there. Um, Javier, the, Angela? Good idea. Yeah, no, no objection at all. And Just to also, see if we could get another applicant in the age range. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice to have two. So we already have one, you know, Mateo for sure. And, and that's can... also in the area, you know, the, the Cabrillo National Monuments in our area. So yeah. presumably the person would probably be in the region, which mm -hmm. is uh, the requirement. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that'd be great, Jack. Let us know. Um, yeah. You can email us and let us know if you can reach out to somebody who is interested. Have them just submit a little blurb like the person, like Mateo did, like a little mm -hmm. written letter slash resume. That'd be great. Is there, uh, Tina, I'll ask you actually on the email, and I read through it, but I'm not remembering. Was there an application, like a sample application that was sent to us from Mandy, or does Mandy have it herself? I think it's on the our website. On the website, I think yeah. it's on the committee meeting. If you go to the committee meeting, I think it's committee on meeting. There. Yeah, uh, on the minutes. Just just today's meeting yeah. on the sub. Yeah, just go to the subcommittee meeting today. Okay, I'm gonna try to find that and then I'll just forward it and I'll um, I'll yeah. CC you. Perfect. Yeah. Tina, so Tina, you're gonna lose your record here. You're, How many? Oh yeah, yeah, for the quickest meeting. Sorry, no, I didn't mean to Sorry. pull this up. These are just. A, uh, you got that's two minutes, I Tina. No. <laughs> I have well, thirty minutes. Welcome to... aboard, Jack. I'm glad to um, see somebody you know young. Um, <laughs> Thank you. So interested <laughs> and so... passionate about the community. It's really um, refreshing. So oh, thank thanks you. for saying that. No, I'm so grateful to join you. And I mean, it's really, it's been invigorating for me. And you all know that Mandy is just a total rock star. And so having the chance to work with Mandy and now she even pulled me to the Rotary Club and she's always volunteering. So <laughs> it's, uh, it just gets me excited. So I appreciate okay. everyone's Great. time and letting me be a part of it. Well, I'm going to follow Javier's request to make sure it's gonna be <laughs> so it's 6 26 I'm going to adjourn the meeting and we're going to stop recording but thank you guys all for joining all right thanks everyone thanks you guys hey, good, good night. night good night bye good, good night. evening bye thanks bye